I was just in my element, doing my thing, doing what I do best. Thinking deeply about shit that doesn't need to be thought about. A pet dragon. 10,000 blade jobs. Diplomatic community. An interdimensional portal gun. A time machine. Two spaceships. One for me and one for my evil twin. The legal right to shoot Tony Robbins in the head. Teleportation. The master key to the entire simulation. Telepathy. An immortal shape-shifting girlfriend. Yesterday, right? Or the day before, I'm pretty sure. I had to take my cat Jettacles, or Mr. Cleese. There's about 30 different nicknames. Right, I took Cleesey to the vet. He was put in this little box. Oh, and God knows what else he saw in that place when we left him there for a few hours. He was sitting at the window like a, like a senile old man, just staring out the window. He was coming down from drugs, in his defense. This is Jed's jungle, man. This is his whole world, it's all he knows. Uh, getting injected with things, tripping balls, seeing other cats and animals he's never seen before. Locked in this little cage, and then he comes back and he's like, he's looking out the window, he's like, What is this? Is, is this even real? What the fuck just happened? Are we gonna pretend that that just didn't happen? But it's just got me thinking about these guys, you know? They know what's up. That must be what it felt like for a cat. Like, who were those people and what did they inject me with? Like, why was I locked up in a cage? What the fuck? I don't know, man. I'm still an avid believer that this is a computer simulation. The system's just been hacked and infected with a fucking virus. And you're telling me this is not a simulation? I don't have the fucking makeup team and people fluffing my cock for me. I'm gonna do it myself. Things just got weird, didn't they? I'm aware of this, don't worry. You don't want to claim this card, I'm telling you. Hang on. I would also like to just state that I am not a doctor. I can't do it. I can't do it. Fuck it, man. Life is too short. <laughs> How do you guys do it? How do you do that while you're wearing fucking purple aprons? I got an apron in there somewhere, but I think it says suck my dick or kiss the chef or something. <laughs> I put on me purple apron. <laughs> I purchased like a thousand of these. They are empty tea bags. There's been a lot of movies about it. Really, really cool. Did I get it? I don't know. I, I couldn't see because I'm looking at the camera. That's why I was looking over here. Cut them to whatever size you like if they're too big and then seal them shut with a hot iron. Uh, I bought a couple hundred of these. If you guys are wondering why I'm purchasing thousands of these little snappy bags, it's not what you're thinking, okay? It's for my tea. Eastern medicine, Chinese herbs and whatnot. And I'm gonna have like a thousand of them just sitting there, right? This is the coolest little tea infuser I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it just screws off. Comes with a little chain. I'll probably end up eating it. It's all about that essence, guys. Uh, yeah, it comes with this little chain, right? Unfortunately, the hook is too thick for the hole. We're gonna get it just right, don't we? That's no dramas. I can, just, I can just risk it like this. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it inspires you. I highly recommend you do this. I'm gonna be brewing up potions that may kill me. I may end up with supernatural powers. This boy won't die. What's it going to take to silence him? Hmm. I'd say... <sighs> one of those sticks of corn that that, that, that that little kid banks on about, they look pretty good. You know, the one with the grease and the butter? One of those looks alright, man.